Hey everyone, this is Jove with Jove's Gaming Lounge, and we're back with yet another video here. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these setups on this secondary computer I have here. And coincidentally, as I'm going to do this video today on PCSX2, it appears that they revamped their website, and this is looking amazing here. And things are actually a lot easier to find when we get to them right now. So as you can see here, today we're going to be setting up PCSX2. And uh, this is on my older machine here. Uh, that makes a difference because I will show you in a moment what that means. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and install Reshade along with this. So here, I clicked on download on their website. And here on top, we have the stable releases. This is just the uh, release of PCSX2 that, as you can see here, released on 5.7 of 2020. Uh, recently, the best way to play this with Vulcan implemented would be if you scroll down and you go to the nightly builds. Here we have up to date builds. Uh, like it says, it's nightly. You'll see a, at least multiples in a day at least. And these are the ones that you want to get. Now, depending when you log in, these numbers will be different. So you always want to get the latest version you'll see. And it's going to be here actually. So. What you're going to do, and before you download anything, you have two options. You have an option of Windows 64 bit SSE4 or AVX2. Now, one thing I recommend you get is this program here, CPU-Z. The reason I say you should get this is because if you download the wrong one, it may not work well for you. So as you can see, this computer right here, this i7-2600K, has instructions for AVX, but doesn't have instructions for AVX2. So that means SSE4 is going to be the more compatible one for my system here. So I'm going to go ahead and download the SSE4 version, and I'm just going to put it on my desktop for simplicity. When that's done and downloaded, I'm going to go over to Reshade. And it has a download button right smack dab in the middle. It's going to take you down here. The latest version as of the time of this recording, 5.0.2. Download Reshade. We're also going to throw that on the desktop for simplicity. Now, there's also a third thing we're going to need, and it's going to be the BIOS. I can't show you directly where it's at, but I'm going to give you a hint as to where you can find it. Uh, this is the emulation wiki. Scroll all the way down. They have a... Uh, seems like an FAQ section here or actually like a, a context area and yes actually under the FAQ section you're gonna want to find a place that says files and BIOS for emulators I won't click that but you may want to check that out you may be uh, steered in the right direction as to where to find your BIOS file okay with all of that downloaded we're gonna go ahead and extract our PCSX2 like to dump it into its own little folder. Here it is. I'm gonna delete this file here. And we'll have reshade on standby at first. Make sure you have your BIOS ready. And I'm actually gonna dump this in here. I'm gonna rename it to BIOS. Lowercase b. Double click that. And it starts up right away. It's not going to give you the uh, the installation screen like uh, usual. We're going to go into config. We're going to go to general settings. And over here is where we want to make sure our BIOS is here. I selected this one, the 1.6 BIOS, and it's already in its path where it wants to find it. This is why I created the BIOS folder with lowercase b. Now that this is here. I usually like to take this up one. And before I do that, I want to show you why. For speed hacks, I can either just click this or click this, and especially this being an older system. I'd like to just go ahead and make sure this is on. All right. And this is pretty much already set up. Now, the reason I have reshade here is because we're going to be using PCSX2 with Vulkan and here you have your options of renderer DirectX 11 works best for uh, many different types of hardware that you have. I know a lot of people run this on laptops. If your laptop is a Windows based laptop, DirectX 11 is a good way to go. 
uh if you're on older hardware for instance like this uh that this i7 that i have is a second generation i7 i don't believe that the integrated gpu would be uh vulcan ready so that's another thing you need to pay attention to some graphics cards just won't have vulcan if you're running older systems especially older laptops so you may want to just find out which ones do in that case your best options are only going to be directx 11 and OpenGL. Uh, I have a GTX 770 in the system and it actually does support Vulkan. So we're gonna enable Vulkan here. And I'm just gonna go for 1080p as an example right away here. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna find a game to load up. Okay, so here we have Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X uh, loaded up here. And uh, we have a Vulcan instance going. This is upscaled to 1080p. Now, the reason we have Reshade available is because when we go here, we go into our graphics settings and we try to turn on the shaders. We don't have access to shaders here. I'm actually gonna turn this off because I don't like that on. So we don't have access, you know, to the built-in shader system, you know, brightness or contrast or saturation. Maybe in the future that'll be implemented uh, as of right now. It's not. So we have to find other ways to do it. And these games look a lot better when you upscale them and clean them up. And uh, these newer versions of PCSX2 are now allowing for uh, texture dumping. So people are making those nice custom uh, upscaled textures. So along with upscaling textures, I always a firm believer that the uh, colors on the PC uh, on the PS2 games are a lot darker than they should be. And, uh, you know, reshade helps brighten them up and uh, give them a better, better tone. So I went ahead and did a save state here. I want to show you how uh, we install reshade. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and close it up. We're going to double click our reshade setup here. And normally this will populate a bunch of games, but the best way to do it is click on this browse button. And uh, we're going to find PCSX2. There it is. We'll double click it and we'll hit next. Now select the rendering API PCSX2 PS2 emulator uses. While it does use all of these, if we do it for Vulkan, it will install it for all of them. We just want to let it know that we have Vulcan here. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Select a preset to install. This is if you have uh, presets already made. We're going to hit next. Here you can uh, select different packages. So these are all different types of visual effects that Reshade can add. Now I haven't messed around with many of these, uh, but I do like adding this. For uh, certain PC games, they will, they will hook in. Certain PS2 games, they will not. So it's all about trial and error here. And uh, if you have, say for instance, uh, some RTX that you've uh, probably gotten from their Patreon, you could uh, upload the zip here and it will extract into into uh, shaders here for you. So we're gonna hit next. And once you know what shaders you're gonna use in the future, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna select the ones you actually want. It's gonna be good practice because it's actually gonna take less time for uh, load, especially if you have a slower system. Uh, you don't want all the shaders loading in. You just want the ones you wanna use. However, for this example, I know my computer can handle it. I'm gonna go ahead and use all these shaders or have it load up all the shaders. I'm not gonna use them all. We're just gonna use a few. So I'm gonna hit next here for the second uh, group of shaders that I loaded up hit next become a patreon right there if you like um, yeah so we're done here I'm gonna hit finish now when I open up ps2 we're gonna create a uh, shortcut to the desktop here send to desktop we'll close this here we go we're open now we're going to launch the game again. Hit boot ISO. 
Now we're prompted with the reshade setup screen. Uh, reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. Now I will do that. First, I'm gonna load up that scene that we were just in in Final Fantasy. So here we are. And as you can see, reshade is already uh, up and running here for us. We're gonna go ahead and hit home. And hit continue. And uh, I'm gonna add a new preset here. We're gonna call it FFX, enter. We're gonna continue. And now I'm gonna pick the uh, a quick few selections here. Uh, I typically always like to use levels. Levels for me, it uh, gets rid of the grayness on the screen. I'm gonna click that off and click it back on. And we'll be able to control the darkness in just a moment. Vibrance for a little boost in color. SMAA and uh, Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening. We're gonna hit continue. And while here, uh, you must understand that the order these things are in matter. So you wanna take, you wanna take them and rearrange them. I like to put level first. This is gonna be the first layer that's altered. We're gonna do this vibrance after levels anti-aliasing and then sharpening so once you figured out which uh which ones you want make sure you put them in the order first you know the top layer affects the other layers it's good practice to sharpen after anti-aliasing if you're going that route so i'm going to click finish here and what it's going to do is i'll be able to click into performance mode we're going to go to our settings here and i'm going to set up a hot key to toggle the effects. I'm gonna go back to a home and then we're gonna turn it on and off. And like I said, it does look a little darker, but we're gonna change that right now. But it's just to show you the difference it makes right away. Turn off performance mode. Performance mode, you wanna turn that on after you're done setting, uh, dialing in your settings. With my levels, I'd like to bring them down and maybe a five here and you want to do this per game uh not one setting works for every game and uh, this is why we have the hot key set up here turn it on and off just to see and now i noticed that the grayness is already gone and that's what i want and if you look at the floor you can see that that's a bit too bright so what we're gonna do is dial up the white point Okay, and this is a good compromise between the white and dark where it's not a gray screen. As you can see, it, it, if you look up here, you can notice the grayness kind of clears it up. It's on, it's off. This is pretty gray. It's on again. And you can tell along these edges right here where my mouse is at that the uh, SMAA is working here since we've only upscaled to 1080p. Here is on and we've smoothed out those edges as well. So this is a pretty decent quick setup here for this game. So it's gonna clear up the jaggies. We're gonna clear up the grayness of the screen. We're gonna brighten it up a little bit and sharpen it up. So vibrance, I'd like to just tone that up a little bit. I'm just gonna do about 240 here. And we can sharpen this up a little more. Do about 200. Now, don't go too crazy on the sharpness, especially if you're recording. Uh, when you record, it's gonna, you know, kind of mess with your uh, recording. It's gonna give you artifacting. But uh, smaller values like this look really good. A little bit goes a long way. Now, I'm gonna hit performance mode. Take that off the screen we're gonna full screen this here now it's on now it's off now it's on now it's off and i know this is pretty subtle but you can see the differences i'm gonna move around a little bit here off on and it's just it's just cleaned up just so good you'll notice this when you do it for yourself and uh, it's pretty good to have some anti-aliasing here, especially at 1080p. 
upscale in the game because uh there's a uh, you could use the fxaa but smaa is better for this we're gonna go back into the uh, screen one more time we're gonna save our settings here and that's it when you launch your game you can change your different settings you could even set it to a specific spot here cancel that for a moment so now just a little bit of word of advice this is what i would do coming into um, doing a shader in the game i'd like to find a nice static scene where i could change the colors and notice a little bit of the differences just like i noted here with the anti-aliasing and the gray coming off the screen this is what you want to do in the games you're playing you know you want to find a nice little test area give yourself a little bit of time to play around with the settings as you like experiment with new shaders and such and uh yeah just have fun when you're playing okay yeah and another thing you can do to enhance your game would be to go to system the game settings and enable widescreen patches i don't believe i have one here for this one as you can see no specific patch was found talking it on a bunch of times uh but you could find the patches through uh, pcsx2's forum but yeah this is uh setting up reshade and pcsx2 it's a lot easier now pretty streamlined and um like i like i mentioned double check your system make sure you can run the instruction set this computer could run sse4 my main computer which is a ryzen 5 3600 will run avx2 you know you don't want to use the one that's not compatible for your system and that's about it don't forget if you found this helpful give the video a like you want to see me continue to install more emulators as I'm doing on this PC that I have here. Hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.